Welcome back to Finnegan's Garage. I'm currently sitting on the side of the highway in my new off-road truck. New to me, it's used. And um, it's currently got a target top courtesy of the wind in Georgia, which ripped the fiberglass roof off the truck as I was driving it from my house to the shop. It barely fits in there. What do you think about the truck? Dude, out of all the stuff Mike has, I'm so excited for this one. This is going to be crazy. The build ideas he's got for this thing, it was all right, awesome. don't tell us. Let's, uh, let's leave that a surprise. I'm going to tell you now. We were riding, and all you kept thinking about was, I want to hit a hill. I want to go up a hill. I want to jump everything. So he went through a ditch that was like pretty deep that you would probably wreck a car. You couldn't feel nothing. Dave, I promise you, when you ride this, you're going to love it. We're going to have to sneak it to my house and go play one day. We ain't going to sneak it. We just going to take it. Yeah, that too. Take it. Climbing through the window of cars will never get boring. <laughs> it might get annoying at some point, but it won't ever be boring. Going good. Drove six miles and uh, we're in the Home Depot parking lot. We got mirrors now. Freiberger's wiring up headlights. We've got the killer U Haul magnetic wireless trailer lights for tail lights. I see no reason why this shouldn't work. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Ready? Nice. Dude, that's legit right there. If you can't see that, you shouldn't be on the road.
two-seater Pro 2 truck was a little toasty in there for the co-pilot. Yeah, see the see the whole welt down from here? It's all one big blister. Carnage. Yeah, bad. How'd we fix it? Lots and lots of header wrap. Lots and lots of Mike sitting in there, wrapping himself all the way through here, and then tying all that stuff onto all that junk. Yeah, those are uh, exhaust tubes that cross from the driver's side to the passenger side. That right there, that's coolant. That down there. That's coolant. I think these were all radiating in here and barbecuing for beer. And we couldn't get the seat out. I'm not sure how those dudes got the seat in. I don't know. But that's as far as we could get it out. So uh, we just ratchet strapped it out there while we did the work. It's gonna work. You've gotta be cooler this time, you know? Oh, we're cool. You're not gonna be melting, I think. I'm just scalding. <laughs> Made it. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Made it. <laughs> Shout out to the good homies at Tucson Dragway for staying open late for us so we can find out how fast this thing is. Uh, my guess is that it runs out of gear before the eighth mile. But it's an LS, so it'll probably be okay. Wait a minute, I need to say thank you guys. I wanna thank every one of you for supporting this channel. And more importantly, I wanna thank you guys for helping us make really, really bad financial decisions with our lives. Every time you buy a shirt or a hoodie or a hat or a sticker, that money goes right back into the projects here at Finnegan's Garage. And uh, thank you, I appreciate it. And if you want anything, fsmgarage.com is where you can find it. On with the show. That didn't go as planned. I was just trying to get it to the shop from my house and uh, the wind ripped the fiberglass roof off the truck, which uh, also ripped the door off of the truck. My plan was to make this thing out of steel someday. That might happen sooner rather than later because uh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Let's go assess the damage. Whoops. Oh yeah. So uh, you can see where the roof used to be. And that's what's left of the uh, fiberglass quote unquote door. Huh. All right. Well, we'll just rip this off and continue on until we get to the shop. Okay. Got that all uh, ripped off there. And we'll just, just stuff that in there and uh, continue on for the shop. Whoops. So that's what's left of the passenger side door and well, the roof is completely gone because the wind ripped it off as I was driving. I wasn't even going fast. 
ripped it right off. <laughs> if I had a trailer wide enough to haul this thing, I would have I would have put it on the trailer to get it to the shop, but I don't, so it has tail lights, it has headlights. I figured we'll just drive it down the road to the shop. And then the uh, fiberglass roof ripped off of it. Luckily, I wasn't going very fast when it happened. And so my, my demented plan was to buy an off-road truck because it has the drivetrain chassis and suspension I want, and then slide that under one of my other trucks and uh, widen the steel body and make the proportions right and then have a really good on-road, off-road truck. And, uh, you know, it's not quite a going according to plan. Sure, I was going to throw away this fiberglass body at some point, but uh, not in broken pieces. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> but that's what's happening. Ugh. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I'm waiting on Newburn to pick up the fiberglass pieces from the ditch on the side of the road that they flew into. And it looks like he's back on the road. So here we go. See where I didn't, didn't wash behind the fiberglass.